Hi, here I'm going to talk about major assignment 2. Uh, this assignment has about 5 pages. These pages are includes grading sheets, saving and loan analytic, budget cost, uh, cost projection, conversion, and the last one we have a tab that shows the interest rate. All right, so now I'm going to talk about the second page, which is saving and loan analysis. The second page uh, focus on uh, energy saving, home improvement. Let's try to show you or to compute how much you would save. Uh, using some kind of energy saving home improvement it could be like solar solar system things like that so how much you save per month uh, and per x or t years all right so that's the main thing so how much you save uh, in the home improvements are in maybe five years 10 years and 15 years so i'm going to explain this in a little bit detail all right as you see here there are sections section two three four five and six seven there are seven different sections all right so the first section i will explain the goal of the projects which i already explained energy saving improvement project and there's also a formula here it's a formula for annuity which means uh, how much you would save after some year if you make a uh, saving regularly or periodically in a year it could be every month it could be um, every quarter then you're gonna compute how much you will save after some years it's called uh, annuity or it has different names sometimes it's called total amount a occurred after tears all right so this is really about say how much you will save after uh, some time after a few years all right or after mm, how many years all right the second formula is pmt pmt is a loan you're gonna get a loan from a financial institute and after you get the loan you should pay uh monthly payment we call it pmt pmt stands for uh payment per month all right so we're gonna use this formula all right so first of all you're gonna enter your name on cell b22 i'm just gonna enter x x x x x okay here you're gonna enter your full name make sure you read the instruction okay all right then hit enter so when you, you hit enter you're gonna see the APR for the given year and the month I mean when you enter your name you're gonna see the year and the month but for the interest rate you're gonna go to the tab the last tab here so in this case, I have October 2013. So I'm going to look, click the, the last tab look for October. October is under uh, column K. October 2013. It's under this K. K. All right, that's October. Now look for 2013 here. All right, so 
this one 4.19 is the interest rate you're gonna copy that one and enter here 4.19 Make sure this should be on a percentage. Okay. All right. So the month and the year is the same. So I'm going to just copy the same interest rate. I'm just copy because the interest rate, the time is the same. All right. Once you enter this interest rate, next step is you're gonna enter your uh, expenses, monthly expense of utility. Here, monthly cost of your utility, all right? Let's say electric, you may pay um, average 180 in Phoenix, Arizona. Let me jump like that. Gas, maybe let's say 50. Water, let's give 80 per month. Other, let's give other 100. Just random number, right? Make sure you change this to a currency. Alright. There you go. All right, let's add up them. Use the sum function. All right, highlight all the values. Hit enter. All right, my total cost is four hundred ten dollars. Our monthly percentage saving is forty four point two. This comes automatically once you enter the interest rate here. Right, this one you don't calculate, it's just gonna come by itself. Now your monthly saving six uh, is gonna enter equal your total costs, which is 410, click on it, times your monthly percentage saving, which is 44.2 percent, click on it. Hit enter. That's your monthly saving. So you're gonna save one hundred eighty-one dollar and eight cents every month from your total cost if you use some kind of uh, energy saving home improvement, maybe your solar system or any other uh, energy saving system. All right. So you're gonna save this much amount every month. So you're gonna invest. This one hundred eighty-one dollar and it's eighteen cents. Gonna invest it to um any financial institute, and you're gonna save it. And uh, after some years, your total saving uh, will gonna really uh be be really a very high number. Uh, the, so the kind of saving you're gonna use is. Um, there's a different kind of saving here. We're gonna use a saving and annuity. We're gonna use this formula. All right. So you're gonna invest uh, or um, every month in, uh, and then you're gonna get interest rate. So your saving is gonna be like exponential. So uh, we're gonna use that formula. Okay. All right. Uh, however, first you're gonna transfer this amount on cell B thirty-eight. This B thirty-eight is like the, your monthly saving. I'm gonna copy the monthly saving on cell B thirty-eight. I just copy this amount here. So I just transfer it. All right. So you have April already. APR. The interest rate four point two. Number of contribution means you're gonna invest or a deposit to one hundred eighteen and eight dollar and eight cents every month, right? So in a year, 
can invest or deposit 12 right times because there are 12 months in a year right so n is 12 Num number of years t is gonna be for how many years you're gonna leave the money in the bank for five years so you're gonna leave your money in the bank for the next five years so you're gonna enter five so five stand for the number of units total amount saved now how much you're gonna make after five years given that you deposit to uh, uh 181 cents every month right so we're gonna use the formula that's given here the annuity formula this one gonna copy everything except the a right copy everything start from the equal sign right so we're gonna see how much we're gonna save after five years how much deposit or saving we're gonna have after uh, five years with the interest rate all right so p stands for double click here when you double click you're gonna see the cursor moving all right so p stand for your monthly deposit amount which is 181.18 all right dollar so raise p and click on sale b 38 and move the cursor click on r on the right side of r remove r click on the interest rate here b39 that's the interest rate okay move the cursor raise n and click n n which is before you right again click next to the n raise n click on n again which is b 40 that's a number of contribution all right all right click next to t remove t click that's t stand for number of years click a number of years which is b 41 all right now go to r remove r click on the interest rate all right again click on n remove n click on n again b which is n is before hit enter all right so total amount saved which means after five years i'm gonna save twelve thousand and sixteen and ninety seven dollar okay uh that's so about uh, total saving all right now on CLB 43 click on it enter equal here we're gonna compute total total comp contribution over the number of years how much you contribute without interest that means how much did you deposit it? all right every month for the next five years so every month you deposit this much amount 181.18 times every month right so times 12 for how many years for five years right hit enter so you, you deposit ten thousand eight hundred seventy dollar and seventy four cents now the now we're gonna compute here on CLP 44 how much interest you gain so to compute how much interest you gain click on the total amount saved which is the your annuity amount click on b42 right minus your contribution right that's gonna give you the interest so you now have interest you make money or you make profits of $1,199.23 that's your profit all right I do the same way here everything is the same except here you're gonna change the year it's gonna be 10 right because see here it's 10 years all right next it's gonna be 15 years 